glad everything's voiced. Oh, leather cloth. I touch it. Oh my god, X. I'm gonna assume there's crafting in this game. I uh, maybe? I'm a smith after all. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. Oh. Is that like talking? He was grunting, yeah. Hmm. I am a dwarf and I diggy diggy ho. I gotta Ugh. like gotta pray to Ah Varkus. Everything you Wasn't that you? Dwarves, you no, that was that's our god. The divine oh. smith created the dwarves. Oh, that's right. From time right. to time, you make him an offering of some crumbs of gold. It's the most valuable thing you have to offer Vrakus. Gotta offer him gold because he loves gold. You've worked a bit more. Sounds like a game. I mean, crackers. Night. The little one is crazy about horses. I got a lot of crackers. Hand, prefer to keep your distance unless you're fitting them with hooves. Too many legs and way too big. I ain't practice my woodworking. <laughs> practice my woodworking every night. <laughs> my dick. The fourth degree famulus and your favorite foe among the students of magic gives you a disparaging glance and disappears without waiting for your reply. Fucking hummins, I hate them. Hummins are dirty and stupid. Oh, quick! Or the goulash will get burned! Not the goulash! You immediately recognize what the problem is. A chain running over a pulley for positioning the cauldron is detached from its mounting and the cauldron stuck in the fireplace. That's horrible. How do I fix it? It's a heavy load. Mm. None of the Smacker. Pulley, who feel superior even during kitchen duty dare do anything. They might burn their fingers or even get a bit dirty. Don't worry, I'm a smith. I burn myself all the time. It's just that easy. Goulash, and I'm hungry. Here, hold this. Idiot. <sighs> he can't hold it. Um. I expect it thoroughly. With as much concern in your voice as you can muster, you say, Oh, no, no, this doesn't look good. You're pleased to notice he's dripping with sweat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll get you back for this, groundling. Do you remember when you dyed my beard with some magic spell? I had to shave it off. You stroke your beard, which is unusually short for a dwarf. Damn it! Ah, oh, it's heavy! The young human forces through his pursed lips, letting the pot sink a little. Don't you dare ruin my goulash, boy! The cook with beefy forearms glares at the young man, and after a brief moment, he tries harder. I fix. <clears throat> you damned freak! For a moment, you wish I could zoom in. Just really does raise his hand to you, but then he comes to his senses and leaves the kitchen. His face bright red. What a pair you are! Well, look at dinner. Dinner's delicious. Hmm. Dinner's yeah, important. Yeah, the experience, dude. I did. You oh, that guy weak as fuck. Air in through your Ooh. nose, and the smell makes your mouth start watering. <laughs> Bears a bear. The beer that is delivered <clears throat> to the vaults is supposed to be the best beer in Iddersleen. It's certainly your favorite beer, but you haven't drunk enough other beers to truly know. I know what my favorite is out of all of them is this one, the one that gets me fucked up. I'll go see what Ombre's about. Oh, I can zoom in. For those of you that drink beer, why do you drink it? Is it to get fucked up or is it the taste? I really hate the taste of beer. I think it's because it's cheap. It's a cheap way to get fucked up. I figure after you drink it enough, you get used to the taste. Probably, yeah. But it just becomes mm -hmm. water. That is not a taste I would want to get used to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I could pill for some food? I don't... But door stealing's bad. Feels bad, man. Tell you though, hard root beer's pretty good. Oh, yeah, oh. because it tastes like hard root beer and it's sweet. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> of the 200 or so people selected to learn the art of magic under Lot Yonan, there's barely a handful of them you can stand the sight of. You're not at all interested in magic in all its elusiveness and whimsy. Your realm 
is the forge. Forge. I like to look at the stairs from over here, apparently. Lot Yonan's vaults are equipped with laboratories, a library, and private rooms for the Famuli. Together with the forge, the kitchen, and the other utility rooms, it makes up quite an impressive complex. But compared to the courts of the other Magi, the seat of power in Yonandar is small and modest. Oh. Hmm. I have a question. Ah. Uh? I remember watching an anime a long time ago uh -huh. about a bartender. And he explained this before, but I forgot. What's the difference between beer and spirits? Beers is like hard liquor. Is it? I guess I think that's true, right? Anytime we went to like a restaurant and TwitchCon or whatever, they would have beer and spirits separately. And when you looked did, at yeah. spirits, it was like harder drink. Okay. I wouldn't say necessarily mixed drinks. No! Ale is the same as beer, though, right? I believe so. It's like in the same category. Okay. But that's like saying wine is also in that category. I don't know. Mead? That's like honey and beer or something, right? Honey, honey ale? Oh. It's wine. Mead is delicious. It sounds delicious. I'd drink that. Or at least I'd try it. Never had the opportunity. Ooh, a cutscene. <laughs> told me you it's a good time for bits, thank ah, you. <laughs> Tungdil, come in. Uh, there is a bag over there in the cupboard. Take it out, please. It contains artifacts belonging to my former Famulus Goren. I wish to return them to him. He's in Black Saddle, 300 miles away. 300 miles? That's a long journey. Who are you going to entrust with this? I was thinking of you. Me? Oh shit, you're on a 300 mile no journey, dog. to take on this journey. But I'm too you short for this journey, Gandalf. Don't worry, I'll give you an eagle. You know more than most family about Girdle Guard and its inhabitants. It is time for you to go out into the world and see it with your own eyes. My dwarf eyes. Oh. Pleasure. How's the, is, is his uh, voice good? Not bad. Doesn't sound dwarfy, but. Ah, uh, okay. I see. You know, uh, Snake, I was actually curious about your opinion of this. Do you feel like Aaron Paul was a weird choice for Nyx? I I did think he was a weird choice, but I thought he did a good job. Yeah, I think I, that some points is a little odd, like a little weird, because it, it was too much uh, too much Jesse. Yeah. But uh, at other points, he actually pulled off very well. I also thought Lena he, he was a weird choice for Luna Freya. Yeah. yeah. Goblins. I also fucking hate Luna Freya. <laughs> Not the best really? Well, I've ever done. not. I don't it? hate her, but she the pisses me off. The <laughs> shit she does. Oh, like King's jump Clay. out the fucking helicopter yeah. or whatever? Yeah, that was like, what the fuck are you doing? You she literally could have died. Like, if he didn't be a hero there, you were dead. Ugh. And like, she jumped. She did that twice. She jumped off of a fucking, like, a ship. Yep. Like, uh, God damn, woman. <laughs> I hope she's better in the game, though. What chapter are you on in the game? Uh, I want to say th whatever open world is. What's in the bag? Yeah, three. That's what I want to. Magical onto. devices. Uh, you better leave the bag closed if you want to avoid any accidents. Dwarves don't really like magic, and magic doesn't like you either. Rakus gave us so much craftsmanship that there's no space left in our bodies for magic. Strictly speaking, every time you've been too close to magic, it has ended in catastrophe. Russ, I really like your piercing, dude. Thanks, dude. I got it when I was like 12. I don't know. Well, some backstory is face. apparently I was kidnapped by goblins and sold to this guy. Hmm. He bought you? I guess. I don't know. They were going to toss me a river, and he said, I will buy that dwarf. Huh. All right. Be on your guard. Look after the bag and don't lose it. May Palandiel be with you. Yeah, I don't have much of that. Huh? too, hey. of course. I'll set off immediately. I'll see you soon, Lot Yonan. I wonder if you can like choose your build for your dwarf. Maybe. Like you could be a tank guy or two handed guy or doubles one handed guy. That'd be cool. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be demon hunter guy with two pistols and I'm doing matrix stuff like a mini equilibrium. 
Yeah. Yeah. Dodging bullets and shit. That'd be sick. Oh, and like, dot and like, bending the bullet. Yeah, dog. So sick. What's your favorite mixed drink? I'm more of a Long Island guy. Whatever it goes the orange down smooth fucking devilry they up. have in Cali. Some orange shit in Cali, huh? Fucking, it was like a dream sickle. You didn't taste no alcohol. Mmm. Feel it. You know? I actually never... Well, I, I kind of like dream sickles. But, like, I have to be in the mood for them, you know? Yeah. And it's rare that I'm in the mood for them. Mainly because they just want the sickle part. Well, I bought two of them and they were five bucks a piece. Was it but worth it? They were ten bucks. What? Yeah, what? they were ten bucks. Thank you, got ripped off. You sure we just didn't get two and they were ten dollars? You're talking, we are talking about TwitchCon, right? Yeah, and those... You know, we, we bought seven of them and total got to <laughs> 70 bucks. You bought seven? Yeah, they were delicious. Between like four Jesus. people, yeah. Yeah. You guys hit it hard. They didn't even fuck you up, they just taste really good. Ah, I see. Looks like the loading screens are pretty long. Yeah. I don't even know where I'm going. I need a guide. This is my house. Yeah, go on. This is your, like, yeah, this is pretty much where you stayed. Okay, I think it's time to leave, right? Like, yeah, you like, gotta go on that 300 mile journey, dog. Get the fuck out, he said. Get the fuck out of my castle. Right, go. The familiar oh, rucksack. Side quests. Guardian, the mag is a little eye and asked you to bring rock sacks or magical utensils in his former family. Goran. Goran lives in the back saddle of the table mount. Mount in the middle of Girdle Guard. Now cider talk to him. beer? I like, I like cider. Cider's not bad. I'm not much of a cinnamon guy. This is a lot of cinnamon taste, right? No. It, it depends on the cider. Yeah, the I guess so. You might have had a weird cider. It's not even noon yet. I like apple you cider. Think you're going to survive a I'm hungry. Yeah, you want some? Got food? some goulash. Got some goulash. I didn't burn. I know it didn't. Give me a <laughs> smell. It. I smell it. I smell it. I want to eat all give, of it. Give goulash. Let me no. swim in the goulash. Give it. The goulash is bubbling in the cauldron. You draw. Yes, hungry. Me, the lady. Me hungry. Me want goulash. Give me goulash, please. Goulé, goulé, goulé. <laughs> goulash. Goulash. Hello, Frala. Hmm? I'm going on a journey. Yep. I need provisions for 300 miles. 300 miles. From ear to ear. Finally, you've got the chance to see something of the world. 300? Tundal, that's no errand. That's an epic journey. Epic. Wait, I've got just the right thing. But make sure that oh, the doesn't cook doesn't see. see. I'm going to oh, Mazia, yeah, is a pizza. You pop the rye bread, <laughs> the sausages, pizza. and ham. Enough food for the first few days of your journey. Henry's hard. Or, I don't know. The hard orange soda was kind of sweet. I wasn't the really a fan. You take out a symbol of protection that you've carefully made from three horseshoes. I didn't do anything like grandma in school now. I just did school One stuff. One look at Frala's face makes it clear that it doesn't matter. She glows with happiness as she takes the pendant. For me? But why? Because you don't see me as an oddity and you're like a... You know what I drank on uh, said. Thanksgiving? But you settle with a shrug uh, eggnog. Smile. Three soup bowls of vodka and lemonade. Ripes. You got problems. I had such a headache. It was horrible. Perhaps I'll even meet some dwarves on the way. Thank you, Satro. Also, it's a tricky ear sin. Can't help but broke. Thanks. Thank Aren't you. Dwarves down here. And black. You're the only one in Ida's Lane, as far as we know. I know. Apparently, I'm the only dwarf in this place. Of a rock. Really? In the yeah. I have a well, plan. I guess it makes sense. Maybe even a family. Yes. Maybe. Frala has reminded. Yeah, I had to get hella fucked up just because every Thanksgiving there's always so much family I. <laughs> Yep. Everyone hates each other. I've got a long journey ahead of me. Oh, and I was waiting for it. And I was fucking waiting for it. And you know what? It happened. What happened? The cousin. The, 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 I guess he would be my uncle, sort of. Uh -huh. Step uncle, whatever. Uh, he randomly, like, for some reason they mentioned a Mexican. And it's like, well, it's starting January, it's gonna be real hard to see them around. It's just like, oh no, the political shit's happening already. <laughs> here it comes, here it comes, and everyone, everyone's oh, like, oh, laddie. 
how it happened. Because we all knew. We were all waiting for somebody to do it. Bread, cheese, God damn. But the cook is not to be trifled with. Many painful knuckles have taught you that she knows how to handle her heavy wooden spoon, and that she may possibly have eyes in the back of her head. Did I get enough foods? Dude, you need a lot of food for 300 miles. I'm aware. Just saying, man. It's gonna take a few sacks. I get some jerky, dog. I love jerky. I gotta get some beer, that's for sure. Oh, hell yeah. That's important. I can't interact with the beer again. Game knows me too well. This guy will just stand here by the beer all day. Guess I'll pill for some food. Go for that shit. Thank you. Don't hey, mind me if I do. What are you doing, groundling? We're still eating here. Why don't you go and get your own portion? Okay. Wow. This one's mine. <laughs> <laughs> the blacksmith. Do you want something? These guys look too modern. While you were trying to I never shoot. asked for this. I never Certainly asked for this. On our plates. Damn. I'll take some of this then. You ain't no one that says anything about this because it's mine. Yeah, fuck. 25 experience earned for getting food? Man, I must have so much experience gathered up. <laughs> Shit. I'm definitely fed, as they would say in League of Legends. Blacklight, that's actually exactly it. Yes, it is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I remember like, it was so bitter. <laughs> uh, do you host Thanksgiving since you're the famous rich family oh, member right. and your in-laws can't stand? Everyone's so bitter in my family. They work so hard and I just do fucking YouTube and they're like, uh, Hey! Why did I even try? <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Oh, nice what the fuck? Oh, what is that? Some demon. Age since uh. we last met face to face. Nudin, welcome. Please sit down. Maybe he fat no, wizard. Thank you, my friend. These <laughs> so are gross. urgent matters, and I don't have much time. You must come to Leos Nudin immediately. The perished land is stirring. Are you sure? What makes you think that? I found out about 60 orbits ago, during a visit to the board. 60 orbits. Our magical barriers have weakened and become porous. The Elfa have left their land, and a huge horde of orcs have marched into Girdelgard. Were you able to strengthen the spell with your magic? No. I can't repair the damage alone. We need the combined power of the six. The other four are already on their way here, but we need your help, too. I will set off for Parista without delay. Oh, and um, as you're coming, could you also take the opportunity to bring back the things that I lent to you? Of course. I have them already packed in a bag. Oh, thank you. We'll be expecting you. He wanted the things he lent, and why didn't he just take them and teleport away? Because he gave them to me. Oh, okay. I don't know, maybe. That guy's totally evil. You Ugly think? people are always evil. Wow! Unless it's Hunchback and Notre Dame. Wow, and then they die anyway. Yeah, you're right. That wasn't a double chin, that was just a tumor. I don't think He's anybody has the guts to tell him it's a tumor. He's tumor. Well, Magic old guy was ugly too. What? The old guy. What? Oh yeah, you're right. Whoa! Oh, I'm get, I got the qua cave sickness. Oh, that fucking overworld looks nice. I never like that. Oh, thanks, nightmare. Go, Russ and Hey Snake. Oh shit. What about Cry? He's here too. Nah, dog. It's all good. I respect that. I need shade. Hey, I'm feeling bad. I like that overworld map a lot. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Well, I guess we're gonna go up and on this guy and then that guy and then keep going. Do that, do do do. Three hundred miles that's later. A lot of things. Holy we'll shit. We'll see. We shall see. But there's gonna be some batteries. <laughs> Battery. You reach a small lake. Oh, there's a lake. Oh, it's one of these things. Sting in the unaccustomed sunlight. I think. Maybe. And a smile spreads across your face, nonetheless. 
You've covered a decent distance on the first day of your big journey. Yeah, I did. You pitch your camp and lie down to sleep on the hard forest floor. When you awake in the morning, your legs are stiff and achy. Trying not to feel sorry for yourself, you throw your rucksack over your shoulder. You're a dwarf. And dwarves, and dwarves don't, don't complain. complain. It's true. It's true. Unless it deals with magic. Dude, God damn it, get that shit out of here. Dog, you, if you're left, it's the quickest route to get to town, dog. Oh, God, do you think we need to go to town? What if, the, what if there's highwaymen or banditos? Dog, all right, listen. Actually, it's not the quickest now that I think about it. Both, both ways are quick. I'm going to cut here then. Boop. You're cutting over here. Boop. Around midday, oh, man, midday. What happened? The first beats of Sun's pretty high. You see something move next to the road, a few hundred meters ahead. Some crows are pecking at something in the long. Ah, oh, fucking Probably nightmares. Somebody cool. Thanks, man. Oh my God, is this Oregon Trail? Mabby. Holy shit! Sneak up on Oregon the crows. Oregon Trail. The creaking leather armor, the clattering rucksack, and a dwarf's inability to be. That's right. Makes the crows flap around as you move from one bush to another. You give up trying to be stealthy, stand up straight, and see two human bodies. Oh my god! Two human bodies! Thanks, Black uh, Light. And nightmares. I called it, so how do Russ and Snake's families deal with their internet fame and success? Probably not as bitter as money bags, lol. Nope. Yeah, I don't, I don't really have either of those things. So, it doesn't really, um, really come up. I bought a house. People got mad. You don't see any signs of a struggle in the area where the corpse is gay. lying. <laughs> by a companion. A stranger could hardly have crept up on them with such sparse cover. Look at the body. A slender <gasps> body. man lies Ooh. in front of you. Slender man! In an <gasps> Slender! Wow, I knew he was real. The fair faced, one of the six magi. The dead man must be one of Turger's famuli. You don't see any wounds. Hey, the snake. God. What? How about them decals? Anything you like? Uh, not yet. How about yet. them decals? No. Anything oh, you no. like? No. There are some narrow <laughs> She's only got two the lines the whole time. Every time we do too it. Too big to be made by arrows. But too small. Yeah, that admittedly. This man was stabbed with a dagger. Damn. You didn't do it, right? No, it wasn't me. Not this time. Whew. You Thank look God. down on a tall, broadly built man. He's wearing dark brown leather armor, but is strengthened with iron plates. There's a sword. But it was goblins, him. dude. Probably gobbos. Goblins stab people. Something? Somebody with a dagger. There is hmm. no blood on the sword. No blood on this sword, though. I never asked for this. I never asked for this. Thanks, Blacklight, again. Man, dog. Man I think Snake and Russ, decisions. for what it's worth, are it's successful in my eyes. Aww. By the same weapon. But what that weapon might be... He's gonna make out or what? Say. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like this is gonna be... Uh... Scour the area once more, and ask yourself what to do next. You gotta, like, manage your supplies. And look for further clues. Then every once in a while you'll find a thing like this in the game. Abby? Interesting. Right now we'll look for clues on what could have killed these men. Uh, I bet it was a uh, bear. <laughs> What's this? What's this? Bear. What's this then? It's, it's, a, it's a bear then. Hello, bears. Hmm. Nothing. Oh. 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 Bear's oh. invisible. Invisible bear. What's this then? Oh. Nothing again. You halt. There is something. A rucksack. Did someone hide it in the bushes, or was it thrown in there? I gotta do a cap a check. Cap a check. You open the rucksack. Here we go. Ah, normie. Has already rummaged through Fuck. It. As well as some implements and writing utensils, you find a pouch full of gold and a talisman. Ooh, gold. The gold is proof that this is not a case of robbery. Ah, oh, so you get get money? I never asked for this. Take the gold. That talisman. Oh shit. You give the corpse an apologetic look. The gold coins join the others in your purse. Hope you can still get it. Take yes! The talisman. And a feeling of security flush through Ooh. as you touch the talisman. 
you feel safer just holding it in your hand. I'm taking you with me. Money, money, money. Hmm. Can you check what the uh, talisman is? Money, money, money. Um. Uh, I hit a button and stop my blue. Oh, okay. Hey, we found it. I got gold. I got scarf. I got a talisman of protection. When damage is received, there's fifty percent chance to reduce the chance to fifty percent. That's really good. It's a fifty good. by fifty. That's actually really good. Maybe. Holy shit. I got fucked up when the werewolf escaped. It's not my fault. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. I guess I I, I can't bury him. I gotta go. Oh damn. I ain't got time for the lane dwarves. You're right. What oh, thing's in Fuck my you, face? Dog. Give me that. Thank you very much. You're sorry Thank you very much, man. You gonna go to Tandit? What? You gonna go to Tandit? Probably. Yeah, I have some drinkies. There's some drinkies. Eh, okay. Farmstead. It's not even a town. It's a damn farm. Kill the cows! As the gable end of a small farmhouse and a barn appear from behind a hilltop, you hear the loud cries of children at play. Oh god, children! <gasps> Fuck, I hate children. A small boy with a big and a boy. Oh god, he's chasing her with the that stick. Is trying to catch up his sister he's gonna with kill her. Determined look on his face. But he's finding it difficult to keep his short legs under control on the island. Well, thanks, Afro. Emra? No. Not at all. Oh. Let's see. Uh... Uh, let's see here. Um, Kids are running. Boy's trying to catch the girl on the look on his face. He's finding it difficult with the short legs. I can stay where you are and continue to watch what happens. Walk towards the children. Group them out. I'm a little bit. Give the farm a wide berth and continue. I bet they're racist. You know what? Fuck them. I'm gonna watch them. The boy trips and ah, idiot! The <laughs> Before the girl can reach <laughs> him to help, he picks himself up and grabs the stick to continue the chase. In doing so, he catches a glimpse of you, and his eyes grow wide. All he manages to say is, There, as he points towards you with a chubby little finger. Now the girl has turned to face you too. Before you can say a word, oh she God. puts her little brother up into her arms. Ah, uh, now you, now you fucking look like a creep. House. Yes, so. Fuck. Cabellino. Um, you. see ya. I guess I'll get to I'll follow the children. See, we'll see where this is going. You follow the children to the farmhouse into which they've disappeared. After a few moments, they reappear, accompanied by their parents. Their father is a thick-set man. He's with gray thick, hair. and it looks like Dark Side yes, Phil in the face. Friend, ah! the woman nods oh, but that's not that's not Pandaly. And clasps her daughter tightly to her. Yeah. She looks Thank you over with an anxious expression. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Tungdal. You try to make your voice sound as harmless as possible. Um... Have two travelers passed through in the few days? You mean those guys that died, have they? Over the last few days, have you seen two travelers heading east? Opatia looks at his wife, but she shakes her head. Why do you ask? They're dead. Found their bodies a good march from here. I found them. It looks like Will Wheaton. Two dead bodies <laughs> on the side of the road. <laughs> Good days march east from there. Dead bodies. She hastily covers her son's ears. Was it orcs? Rem, sir. What would orcs be doing up here? It was probably just bandits. I'm afraid it was neither orcs nor bandits. I don't know who it was, but you're quite right to be wary of strangers these days. 